Hello everyone, Happy New Year and welcome back to the channel. I know it's a bit late that I post this video, but I've had a lot of projects for uni to do and now I've got a bit of free time. So today I'm gonna show you how to create a very realistic lumen glass material. I've done one for path tracing glass, but that doesn't apply to lumen at all. It looks awful. Now let me just show you how to do it. First things first, open your content browser and right click and create a material. Rename it glass or however you want. And then double click to open the material editor. I'm gonna just make this window bigger so that we can see. Without anything selected, now you wanna go into the details panel on the left and uh, you're gonna want to click on two sided. The shading model, we're gonna let it to default lit and the blending mode, we're gonna change from opaque to translucent. And now let's just scroll down until we find the translucency tab. And uh, in there, you're gonna want to change the lighting mode to surface translucency volume or surface forward shading. I'm gonna change it to translucency. All of the settings remain the same. And uh, that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna press three on the keyboard and click on the screen to create a color constant and plug it into the base color. For the path tracing, we did a dark gray color, but in Lumen, it looks best with just a plain white. So change the color to basically white or anything close to that. And now we're gonna hold one and tap to create uh, just simple constants. Now I'm gonna plug the first one into the metallic tab. <clears throat> I know that glass isn't metallic, but uh, for Lumen, this is what works best. So I'm gonna change it to one. Then I'm gonna take the second one and uh, this one I'm gonna plug it into the roughness tab. I'm gonna leave it on zero, but you can change it to whatever value you want for your glass. Now the third one will go into the opacity and I'm gonna set 0 0.05, but you can uh, play around with it and uh, find a value for yourself. Then just move a bit down, right click and search for LERP or linear interpolate. This one right here. Click on it and then uh, plug it into the, oh, I forgot, into the refraction. We need to change some properties in here in the details. So just scroll down until you see refraction and uh, change it from none to index of refraction because they changed this setting in the 5.2 version, I think. So yeah, it's a bit more tricky now. Now hold one and tap on the screen to create a constant, set the value to one and plug it into the A then create another one and plug it into the B. This one will be the value of the refraction and uh, usually it's 1.52 for glass. And in the third one, you're gonna right click and search for Fresnel. Click on it and just plug it into the alpha and that's it. This is basically your glass material. Now you can change all of these two parameters if you want to to like make changes afterwards in a faster way. So uh, yeah, you can convert this to parameters and then make a material instance. But uh, let me just show you now. I'm gonna convert, for example, the roughness. Let's convert the parameter and call it roughness. And uh, let's say opacity. After that, we're gonna just save the material and wait for the shaders to compile. And then we're good to go. Okay, so now we can close this window. And if we go into the content drawer and uh, we, where we saved our material, we're gonna right click and create a material instance. And let's just leave it by default. And if you double click to open it, you're gonna see that uh, the ones that you set to parameters, you can now adjust but I'm gonna leave them to default and uh, I'm just gonna apply the material to every object that I have. So for example, this lamp and other things and I'll come back. 
Now you can see how good the glass looks, but there's one thing that I forgot to tell you about and we're just gonna search in the outliner for the post process volume and then uh, click on it and and then down here you probably have the translucency set to raster but uh, it looks okay but not any close to realistic so <coughs> just change it to ray tracing and then uh, down here you'll find the settings for this and uh, the most important is probably the refraction rays which if you increase you can see that it uh, makes more bounces in the scene and I found out that the value of 20 is like the sweet spot and it looks pretty good. So this is the final result, let me know what you think down below and also let me know what you want to see this year on the channel. Just give me some ideas or uh, frustrations that you have with the software and I'm gonna try to solve them and help you. Now I hope you like this video and I will see you on the next one. Have a great day, goodbye.